Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I just finished my chest, shoulders, and tricep workout. I haven't done this. This is the first time I've done this workout uh, since I last did P90X like two or three years ago, and I only did it like once or twice back then, so I did not rem remember this workout at all. So there was a lot of uh, changing weights around <laughs> and trying to figure out how much weight I could use for each um, thing. and. I had to, a couple of the things I had to like watch them do it first because I'm not familiar with it, but holy crap. I'm going to try and show you guys um, the list of the workouts. So this is the list of the workouts for chest, shoulders, triceps. So the slow motion 3-in-1 push-ups is um, basically you start with your arms out really wide and they're like slow motion push-ups. You count to four. Um, on the way down and you count to four on the way back up and you do wide, close, and then closer which is basically like tricep push-ups and then um, in out shoulder flies, da da da, the plane, plane push-ups god I don't even remember what those, oh yeah those are like your hands are like next to your rib cage basically with like your fingers pointing outwards and yeah they're <laughs> Ugh, I hate those. Yeah, I only did, as you can see, I only did two regular, like two off my toes, and then I had to do eight on my knees. Um, pike presses are freaking insane too. Basically, you stand on your tippy toes with your hands on the floor in front of you, and you're like pushing down, like dropping your the top of your head to the ground. I don't know how else to describe it. Crazy. Um, floor flies. Those were, oh yeah, you have like a towel or whatever on the floor to slide on the floor under one of your hands. And you like slide it out, do a push-up, bring it back in, slide it out, do a push-up, bring it back in. So it's like really wide push-ups or whatever. Um, two twitch speed push-ups. Basically, you do four really fast push-ups, like one, two, three, four. And then... Um, and then you do three slow, really slow push-ups. So again, like counting to four on the way down and four on the way up. I did seven regular, so seven off my toes. And then I did 18 in total. The rest were off my knees. Um, what else? Side to side push-ups. You basically, you're supposed to, like, okay. <laughs> so you start in like a push-up position. Um, and then you you st put, move your one arm out to the side. So it's like a really wide push-up. Push-up and then move your other arm out to the other side or whatever, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, one arm push-ups, that's exactly what they sound like. I say I did three, they were really just three really sad attempts. I basically got no depth whatsoever, but I did the best I could for three of them anyways. Clap or plyo push-ups, I could only do off my knees because it's basically where you do a push-up and then you clap and then you do another push-up. The plyo push-up, option is you do a push-up and you like jump like um off your hands and your feet so yeah so those are um the crazy insane workouts my arms are like kind of shaky right now um like if i try to hold them out s straight like my hand just shakes so it was a good workout um i really look forward to getting better and better at the insane push-up moves and all those sorts of things um yeah, and for Ab Ripper today, I only did 300. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Um, I did do the first 100 moves, though, without stopping, which I obviously must have done that before, too, but just didn't really make note of it as much. But it was a bit harder today um, than the last time I did it that I remember. So, But anyways, that's fine. I'm happy with 300. That's still a lot. Um, and yeah, so that was uh, today's workout. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just finished my workout. Um, legs and back and ab rip racks today. The legs and back workout was great. I brought it. Um, I did, you know, all the one-legged wall squats, balance lunges, sneaky lunges, calf raises. My balance was way better today than the last time I did legs and back. And um, yeah, another definite improvement. I got to my ab ripper workout and I'm like so disappointed to say that I only did 280 moves in the ab ripper today. My whole abdominal area is just friggin' killing me though. Like, <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, yeah, so I did. I like, um, I pushed through Ab Ripper. Um, about halfway through, I was so close to just turning it off because I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, my whole abdominal area was just like, dying. I felt like I was going to puke or something. And I just about turned it off halfway through. And I was like, no, I just got to push through. I got to keep doing it. So I kept pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, and I finished off strong, even though I only did 280 moves in total. I, like I say, it, I, it was like a fight with myself to not just turn it off halfway through. And then I finished up strong. I did, um, 40 of the Mason twists at the end. And I think up until now, the most I did of the Mason twists, like straight, I did 40 straight. Um, I think it was like 25 or something, so that's good. So I'm like, I finished up strong. So there was like a good side, even though, yeah, I only did 280. But, anyways, um, yeah, so that was that. Hey guys, okay, so that's the end of week five of P90X. Wow, I look really stunningly gorgeous today. Ugh. Anyways, I just did um, day one of week six. Holy crap. Um, course in logistics. I just did it. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Um, yeah. So, course in logistics. <laughs> I'm really out of it. Um, so I just did my workout. Week five's done. Course in logistics today. Good. Uh, I... Let's see. Uh, I notice my push-ups. I'm getting I'm getting deeper in my push-ups now. Um, before, like up until I don't know, maybe three months ago or so, I couldn't do a single like regular push-up off my toes. I always had to do my push-ups off my knees. And about three months ago or so, I started. I was able to do push-ups off my toes, but I couldn't get very deep. Um, and I noticed I'm getting I'm getting deep. Like I feel I feel like I'm really doing really good strong push-ups now. So that's that's really encouraging. Today I feel like I got deeper than ever. A um, couple little things that I milestones that I set. I guess I don't know if that's the term milestone. Anyways, a uh, couple little things from today's workout. One is the prison cell push-ups. Um, basically, it's you start standing, and then. Uh, you go down to your hands and your feet and you do a push-up and then you bring your knee in, do another push-up, bring your other knee in, do another push-up and then jump back up to your feet and that's prison cell push-up. Um, and they do like, the, the girls on the DVD take out that middle push-up, like they just, they go down, they do a push-up bring in their one knee, bring in their other knee, do another push-up and come back up and instead of doing a push-up in between the two knee in move um, so, cause it's, it's, it's a hard, like, that's an intense, uh, move, like the prison cell push-ups. Um, so today I did, up until now, I think I've only done three or so, um, where I do the push-up in between the two knee ends and stuff, and then, like, six is, like, my max in total. Like, up until now I would do, like, three with the push-up in between, and then three without the push-up in between, and that would be it. I'd be maxed out. Today I did five of them with push-up in between and then two without the push-up in between for a total of seven. So, um, yeah, so I was really impressed with that. Uh, what else is... Oh, a couple other things. Um, the walking push-ups, um, it's just basically you're in plank pose and you walk forward with your hands and your toes and then you walk backwards and you do it for a minute. Um... The longest I've lasted in that before today is like 35 seconds, and then I usually just collapse to my knees, um, and then I like I'll get back up and finish the last like 10 seconds off with them or whatever. Today I did 45 seconds of the walking push-ups before I collapsed, so that was pretty exciting. Um, and the other one, they do plank to chaturanga run. Chaturanga, I can't even do, like, don't even get me started with that. So in that, I basically just kind of keep myself in a plank run, which is really just a mountain climber. Um, and that's a one-minute move. And I've never been able to get through the whole thing, and today I did. Um, I did slow down for a bit. Like, I, I started out, like, really running with my feet or whatever, and then um, 
I slowed down for a bit and then I ended up off going fast again. So, but yeah, so there was like a few milestones I said today. I really didn't feel like working out today at all. I, you know, and it's amazing how easily excuses come to mind um, when I, you don't feel like working out. I, like, I didn't feel like working out and I'm like, oh, it's Mother's Day, like, I can take the day off. Like, that's, like, a good excuse because it's Mother's Day and I don't feel like working out, so whatever. And then I switched it in my mind and I was like, no, I'm going to treat myself on Mother's Day by working out because I want to strive to be, like, a fit mom, you know what I mean? Like, I, I need to, and I've, this is something I've been working on, I need to learn to start rewarding myself and treating myself more with more active, you know, whether it's a workout or whether it's like going for a run or going for a walk or, you know, doing something active rather than rewarding myself or treating myself with food. Um, so, so yeah, so I just switched out of my mind. I'm like, no way, like, I'm not missing a workout. And then of course there's that whole thing too. Like, I'm like, I really want to get through this whole P90X whole 90 days and not miss a single workout um I know I can do it and I'm gonna do it like I keep telling myself like unless I'm like bedridden because I'm so sick or something like that I physically cannot do a workout one day I'm gonna do my workouts and I'm not I'm not gonna miss a workout because I don't feel like doing it or whatever I'm starting to feel a little bit, cause a little bit today before today's work, I was kind of feeling like I'm kind of bored of it or whatever, but that's not even an excuse because I only have to do it once a week, so who cares about being bored for 57 minutes once a week. Um, my food has been not so great this weekend again. Shocker. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I've noticed that when I'm not eating very good, that's when my energy goes down, that's when my motivation goes down, that's uh, my, you know, just want, like, it, everything just declines. And that's when I have a harder time pushing myself to work out, I don't want to work out, I have a harder time eating healthy, I start, it's like I give myself that one treat and then the cravings just start full force and I just, yeah, so that's kind of where I was at today, but... I did the workout. I'm glad I did the workout. Um, it's like 3 o'clock now and I have eaten really good today. Um, this, it's, you know, it's Mother's Day and stuff, right? So it's like, if my mind's just going to like, oh, I should treat myself with food or whatever, but whatever. Like, for breakfast this morning, my husband made me um, a breakfast sandwich on like a thin bun with one egg and one triangle of Laughing Cow Light cheese. It was so good. And a little fruit salad. It had blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and mango. It was delicious. I'm gonna so go eat some mango right now. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna go have a grapefruit after I have my shower, but anyways, so, um, yeah, so that's that. Sorry, I'm really blah. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit better now that I've talked a bit, but, um, yeah, I just, uh, for Mother's Day, I got the Hunger Games trilogy, the three books, um, and I'm not a huge reader. I've like really never read a book for leisure before in my life, but just every single person out there says that the Hunger Games is so awesome, and then I hear about how awesome the movie is too, and I want to see the movie, but I want to read the books before I see the movie, so I've been toying with the idea of buying the books, so I got it for Mother's Day, so I'm really excited. Tonight, um, after my daughter goes to bed, I'm going to start reading them, so I'm really excited about that, but yeah, I don't have to eat. I don't need junk food. What the heck? Anywho's, so yeah, so that's week five done. Five weeks down, eight weeks to go. That's not too bad, hey? Um, yeah, okay, thanks for watching.